Hello students, in this video, we'll see the solution to the fifth problem in the quiz. In this problem, we're given two random variables, x and y, and we're given that the expected value, the conditional expected value of x, given that y is equal to y, is 3y. And the conditional variance of x, given that y is y, is 2. It's also given to us that y is an exponential random variable with mean 1 third. We're asked to find the variance of x. In this problem, we'll use the law of total variance. This states the variance of x is the variance of the conditional expected value of x given y plus the expected value of the conditional variance of x given y. Both of these things are given to us in the problem. The expected value of x given y is 3y, so this is the variance of 3y plus the expected value of the variance of x given y is just 2. So we can use the rule that the variance of lambda x is lambda squared, the variance of x. So I can take that 3 out of the variance and it will turn into a 9. So this will be a 9 variance of y plus 2. Now we need to find the variance of our exponential random variable. So what we have here is we're given y is exponential with mean 1 third, which means y has pdf 3 e to the negative 3x. That's our pdf. And so what we do now is to find the, and we know what the mean is, the mean is 1 third, so all I need to do is find the second moment of this random variable. So the second moment of the random variable is the integral from 0 to infinity. And then I'll have a 3y squared e to the negative 3y dy. And so here we can use our rule, our gamma rule, that the integral from 0 to infinity of t to the n e to the negative st dt is n factorial over s to the n plus 1. So we're going to use this rule here. So what we'll have is we will have that this is going to be 3, and then my power is 2, and my s is going to be a 3. So I have a n equals 2, so we'll have a 3. We'll have a 2 factorial on top. And then the bottom, we will have a, since n is 2, we'll have a 3. So my s here is 3, so I'll have a 3 to the power n, which is going to be 2 plus 1, so that's going to be a 3. So what will happen over here is this 3 will cancel with that 3 and turn into a 2. And so I'll have a 2 over 9 is the second moment of y. From that, I have to subtract off. So the variance of y, this will be equal to 9. The variance of y will be e, the expected value of y squared, minus the mean of y quantity squared plus 2. So this will be 9, and then we'll have a 2 over 9 minus 1 third squared plus 2. So this will be 2 ninths minus 1 ninth, that's a 1 ninth. 1 ninth times 9 is 1, so this is 1 plus 2. And so my final answer is 3. So the variance of x is 3. And the essential feature of this problem is that we need to use the law of total variance, that the variance of x is the variance of the conditional expectation of x given y plus the expected value of the conditional variance of x given y. Oftentimes, it's easy to forget this second term. But when you're computing variance, when you have conditional information, you need to include the expected value of the conditional variance in addition to the variance of the conditional expected value. Thank you very much.